Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Moss. And in this video, I'm going to show you a resume hack using ChatGPT's new Canvas feature. So I want to give you a quick introduction on the Canvas feature. It essentially allows you to collaborate with ChatGPT on a document, similar to how you might collaborate with someone else on a Google Doc. And I'll show what that looks like in a little bit. The motivation behind this video comes from uh, when you upload your resume to ChatGPT and you ask it to make your resume look better, it does so but within the context of just what's inside of your resume. Your experience is much larger than what's on your resume, right? But you try and condense your experience down into some highlights that you put on a one pager. It's best practice for your resume to fit on a single page. So when you upload just your resume to ChatGPT, it doesn't have the full picture. And so the changes that it makes to your resume are very limited because it only has access to what's in the resume. And what I'm suggesting you do is write down all of your experience as if you were talking to a recruiter or a hiring manager. So we're all familiar with that conversation that you have with a recruiter or initially with a hiring manager where they're like, tell me about yourself, tell me about what you've done, tell me about your experience. Even during those conversations, you kind of summarize your experiences and you don't go into a lot of depth. But especially further into the interview, you'll get a question like, tell me about a time where you had to troubleshoot a production system. And in this exercise, I want you to write down answers to questions like that, where you're describing a specific experience, like a project that you worked on, and you should describe it in great detail. And I actually produced using ChatGPT an example of what I'm talking about. So at the top, I'm specifying the role in the company that I work for. Then I specify the technologies that I used, and then I get into the experience uh, that I had with that particular company. And if you wanna read through all of this, feel free to pause. Um, but essentially, I go into a lot of detail, or this hypothetical DevOps engineer goes into a lot of detail about the things that they worked on at this company. They talk about the challenges that they encountered and the technologies that they used as well as the outcomes of those projects. And if I scroll down, you can see this key takeaways section. And then after that, the rest of the experiences are listed at uh, various uh, companies. And even the experience that's described here, I think doesn't go into the level of detail that you should go into. When you're writing down your experience in talking about each project that you've had in your career, you should go into as much detail as you remember about that project. Because what we're going to do is upload this document to ChatGPT. If you were talking to a recruiter or a hiring manager in an interview, yeah, they probably wouldn't want you to go into excruciating detail about every single project that uh, you've completed in your career. But thankfully, ChatGPT doesn't really care about how much detail you go into your projects. So I'm going to take that PDF file with the fake experience, and I'm going to upload it to ChatGPT. And make sure that the model that you've selected is ChatGPT 4.0 with Canvas. And then you want to tell ChatGPT that you want it to review your experience and then produce an ideal resume that fits in a single page. Now notice when I sent that message that ChatGPT automatically opened a new Canvas window. And it says, here's a one-page resume based on your experience, emphasizing key accomplishments in automation, cloud strategies, and DevOps. And I already did this with my resume and performed the exercise of writing down uh, all of the projects that I've worked on and the experience that I've had in my career. And I was pretty impressed with the resume that uh, it produced. It was very good at summarizing projects and being results oriented throughout the whole resume. And I think you'll see that pattern here as well in this uh, example resume. It does a really good job of formatting everything. And you can see it pulls the results from projects 
like here it says reducing build queue times from 20 minutes to nearly instant. Now it's not perfect and I still worked with ChatGPT to make updates, uh, not only formatting updates, but also uh, I noticed that some experience, it didn't highlight that I wanted to highlight, but then with Canvas, it makes that collaboration so much easier to make updates than it was in, in the past. So I'll make a change to these two bullet points because I noticed that uh, both of them include things related to monitoring. So I'll have them combine the things that are related to monitoring in a single bullet. So it combined those two bullet points, but then I also noticed it cut out uh, experience related to Vault. So I'm going to ask it to add back in uh, the experience related to Vault. And even though ChatGPT produced this resume to begin with, you can still ask it to suggest edits. And it's pretty cool because it feels a lot like working in a Google Doc with someone. Uh, ChatGPT adds comments that you can then apply their suggestions I think it's funny how it suggests to break up this one bullet point into two bullet points when I previously asked to combine those two. There are some things about this that aren't working perfectly yet. Uh, for instance, if I make changes to the text directly, so I'll delete this period at the end of the sentence, I can't use Control Z to bring back the period and undo changes. Um, the versioning is controlled using these arrows here where you can go back to a previous version and then you can see here the, the period is added back and I can restore that version. Um, that doesn't feel natural because anytime I'm working in a document I'm usually using Control Z to undo changes. Now one other thing that I tried using this feature is when you're applying to jobs you want to maximize the number of applications that you submit and you want to maximize the impact that each application has. And typically you have to sacrifice one of those things. Either you decide to submit a lot of the same application or you select a handful of jobs and you tailor your resume to that specific job. Tailoring your resume using ChatGPT is pretty easy. What I did was I went to LinkedIn and I picked a job that I was interested in and I copied the job description. I then uploaded my experience document and also paste it in the job description uh, into the uh, query field. And I asked ChatGPT to tailor, uh, generate a resume and tailor it to match and align with the job requirements uh, that were included in the job description. One thing that I noticed when I did this is it started embellishing my resume with experience that I never had. So it would uh, include keywords that were in the job description but never existed in my uh, experience document. And so I had to um, add a constraint to the query when I submitted it to uh, ChatGPT and say, uh, don't embellish the resume, uh, You know, constrain what you say in the resume to only include experience from the experience document but still try to align that experience with what's in the job description. And after doing that, it seemed to create a pretty accurate representation. And I thought it did an okay job of also aligning the resume with uh, what was mentioned in uh, the job description. It definitely focused and highlighted more heavily the areas of my experience that were 
uh, like the top priorities or the top requirements listed in the job description. So that was pretty cool. So that's another method that I think you could use to maximize the impact while still maintaining a large number of applications. But yeah, going back to describing your experience and writing it down, when you're talking about a project, make sure you include all of the detail that you possibly can uh, and that you remember from uh, that project. Uh, it might be something like uh, migrating from one tool to another, if you're a DevOps engineer or something like that. Uh, and you're describing the process of planning the migration and what happened uh, what was your thought process about how you would approach the migration, uh, the actual uh, implementation of the migration, what happened after the migration, uh, the outcomes, uh, go into all of those details and upload that to ChatGPT. And I think you'll be surprised by the results or the resulting uh, resume that it produces. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please consider throwing a like on the video and subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.